Use the old CTB filters there. <laughs> got some of those, so. Nothing I haven't got, basically, is what they're using. <laughs> Apart from maybe. Got the eye light there. We'll get one of those. <laughs> so. What camera are you using, actually? Uh, this is the, uh, the 5D Mark II. The Mark II. I've got a Mark V, so. <laughs> Bit ahead of the game. They, they don't even exist yet. Got the prototype, though, because... They sent it to me, you know, special delivery. <laughs> okay. Um, you ready to go then? Ready to go. Just introduce myself, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> my name's Tony. I'm a filmmaker. Been filmmaking all my life, really, since I was a little kid. Used to chase my pet rabbit around the garden, you know, make a little nature documentary about him. So it was very exciting times. But my passion really kicked off for filmmaking when I went to college, really. See, now, this movie here was one of the first ones we ever actually shot, actually. It was in the summer holidays while we were at the college, and what I did, I wrote this kind of sci-fi fantasy movie, just me and my friends. <laughs> wrote it myself, always write your own stuff, so I just love watching back over the, the rushes and the takes, really. <laughs> this bit's funny, actually, because this guy here, he, he didn't want to die while he was making the movie because he was fighting with the sword and stuff and he was scared that he was going to get stabbed. <laughs> stupid actor. <laughs> stupid actors are <laughs> always stupid. <laughs> film is in my blood. Not actually in it, though. <laughs> Little film crews running around filming the arteries and stuff, but it's part of who I am. It's you know, really what I want to say. And My first professional movie when I was in college was called My Trip to Poland. And it was this real hard-hitting social commentary, you know, on immigrant life in a country on the brink of turmoil. So it was really serious, serious stuff. <laughs> so would you say that's what uh, launched your career then? Well, I wouldn't say launch, no. I'd more say it was just film, from, you know, me and my friends, really, you know, getting to know each other, getting to know the cameras and stuff. It was really funny. There was this one scene, right, where Dave... Comedy Dave, he lives here, but he's out at the moment. You'll meet him later. He was dared, right, to drink his own piss, right? So to make it more exciting, I filmed it on a fisheye lens. Have you ever seen a fisheye lens? <laughs> it's, it's, it gives it like a fisheye, so it makes it just more... Those are the moments you want to capture. Yeah, we're doing the script reading. So, my new film... The film that this little documentary is going to be about is called Bloodlusting in Alternate Dimensions. Working title. <laughs> Not sure if I'm going to keep it yet, but Emma likes it, so if she likes it, we'll probably keep it because she's you know, special on that. So, but hired you, haven't I? Yeah. Got you in to make the little making of, so you're going to follow me around and film me in the process of making the movie because I think it's very important that we document these kind of student filmmakers who are out there making movies. I'm not a student myself. I'm a real filmmaker, but what I'm doing is, is something unique and creative and artistic for someone my age, don't you think? I'm going to start in just a minute. Right, it's the first official read-through of the script today. Just got some of the actors here. These are my friends, really. But, you know, we're going to read through the script, have a little critique session afterwards where you can bang about some ideas, you know, see what they think. Input. So the next few days, they're pretty exciting, really. We've got the script reading later on, which is always a good laugh, you know. And then I've got a meeting with the SFF, the Student Film Finance Company, to bring in some money for the movie. It's ready now. Just, just basically ready now. Just waiting for a few more people to arrive. Oh, it's Emma. <laughs> Emma's here. Say hello to Emma. All right. Everyone, this is Emma. She's my best friend, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. This is a film crew I was telling you about. They're making the documentary about me. Follow me around. Very exciting. <laughs> Emma's here to help us with the script reading today, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What part do you want to read? Do you know? Uh, any part. Any part she wants. She can read any part she wants because she has been making movies with me since college, really, haven't you? Yeah. She wants to be a famous actress like Natalie Portswood. Portman. Purple Swan. Black. Rachel. So, I was telling him earlier, Dave's going to be here in a bit. Mm. Going to help us out. He's proper crazy, isn't he, Dave? Yeah. He is crazy. <laughs> Can't wait to see him. <laughs> if you want to sit down, we can start start recording the scene, start script reading, start getting it out. So baloney. <laughs> I calls Tony baloney. We do script reading. They're filming us. Don't get off. Get off. You're bloody every day. I'm not. Bloody every. Get off. There you go. Oh, oh. Don't you cock it, me both. Fucking hell. Thank you. Thank you. They're not going to take me seriously. So I'm producing the movie, doing the casting, making the magic happen. 
Known baloney for years, it's a natural choice for the producing role, really. What's the difference between executive producer and producer? Uh, is executive better? Uh, I think so. It is? I guess so, yeah. Oi, Tony! Why aren't I executive producer? Um, well, I met Tony in college. We both did a media course, but he dropped out to pursue his career, which was... Inspiring, I thought. Everyone ready? <laughs> Blood lusting in the alternate dimension. <laughs> Exterior, gloomy room, late in the dark night. This is a flash forward. Archibald enters the gloomy room with a look of heroism in his eyes. Ooh, tension. It's about building your tension, anticipation. Archibald. Archibald. You talk to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's your line, isn't it? Um, uh, okay. I come before you to rid the land of its plate. Plate? Why would he be ridding the land of plates? Okay. Say it again. All right. Do it properly this time. I come before you to rid the land of its plate. Better. We've known each other for ages, haven't we? Yep, ever since we were little kids. Yeah. And I used to shaggy sister. I want you to take me, Archibald. We can skip past this bit if you want. It's not important, really. It's fine. Yeah, we might as well carry on. Take me right here on this wet, weeping rock. How can a rock weep? It's descriptive. Emma's been helping me make movies for years. Started in college, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Tony cast me on one of his college projects. Saw how good you were, didn't I? <laughs> not that good. She's modest. What would your father say? My father isn't here. It's just us. Tony. Okay. Description. Oh, sorry. I'll go from this bit, okay? Archibald rides his noble steed. No, back a bit. Go from after it's just us. Uh, if you insist. Gwendolyn removes her white robe and is topless underneath. You can see her busty boobs and they look succulent and delicious. <laughs> I know, it's not very good, is it? I might edit this bit, to be honest. Succulent and delicious. Well, what would you write? Well, I wouldn't write succulent and delicious. They're not chicken keos, they're tits. I know what they are, Dave. <laughs> Have you actually seen any tits? I've seen loads of tits. Tits coming out of my arse. Whose tits have you seen? Angelina Jolie's. That one from Basic Instinct. She even wiped the badge about. Kiera Knightley in the hole like that. Game of Thrones, you watch that. I'm talking real tits, Tony. Whose real tits have you seen? Shall we just read the script, Guy? Yeah, let's do what Emma says. Let's get on, read the script. I just don't feel like the script is written from a real perspective. Emma. Unbelievable. Fuck me, Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> And do you guys think the zombies were a bit much? The zombies are the most realistic part. Really? Can we audition? I'm sorry? You're holding auditions next week. I want to audition. I really like it. I thought you were busy, though. You had studies and other stuff going on. I want to play Gwendolyn. I think I'd be really good at it, Tony. But the thing is, isn't it, we're auditioning proper actors. And I... You don't think I'd be good enough? I, I do think you'd be good enough, but... The other actors, they're going to be, like, professional. You know I want to be an actress. I've acted in loads of your films. But this is a proper one, isn't it? And, anyway, I've already written a part for you in here somewhere, if you want to... I don't want another part. I like the part of Gwendolyn. But Gwendolyn is objectified, and I don't think you want to be objectified. She has to get naked, and I don't think you... You don't think I what? I wouldn't want it to be too awkward. It wouldn't be awkward, Tony. What's the big deal? He's never seen any tits before. Thanks for the input, Dave. That's not the reason. It's that Gwendolyn is supposed to be sexy, provocative, raunchy. And you, you're just... You're, you're... you don't think I'm sexy? I... I... You were the worst friend ever. Great. Your friends seem pretty annoyed. Yeah, Tony's fancied Emma for years. 
weird, really, because if I fancied someone and they wanted to be in a film I was making and get their tits out and have me there filming it, I mean, you'd be insane not to, right? 